Hi, my name is Dave. Uh, this is another diary entry here, uh, my Olympic diary. I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm very new to this, so um, I'm just putting it all together here. This is a second distillation of a uh, single malted rye uh, that I've done. I've collected uh, four stripping runs that I've laid out here. This is what I've got. This is all about 55% alcohol content. And I'm going to dilute this down um, to under 40% and I've put it in my pot there um, to get ready to run. In fact, I think there's a shot. You'll see the burners on so it's heating up. And I'm just getting all of my stuff together there to uh, collect, start collecting when it starts coming off. I'm just checking the temperature there. I'll leave it open until about 140 or so and then I'll, I'll cap it. And I've got some Teflon tape that I use uh, to make my seals. So I've started collecting here and I'm just labeling my jars uh, as I go because this second distillation is really what this Alembic is designed to do. Um, is to give you a really good clean spirit the second time around um, and so I'll use this as uh, a way to record you know how much alcohol comes off with each jar because I'm just curious you know I want to know it'll start coming off about in the 80 low 80 percent alcohol and it'll I'll cut it off in about 20 percent or under that um, alcohol so it's coming off really high right here this is my first, uh, no, my second jar, um, and it's right at 82 percent. Little coffee filter right over the top of the jar, keeps the bugs out. East Tennessee here where I live we have a big problem with gnats and they like to commit suicide in your spirit so I use coffee filters to keep them out and I read somewhere or I heard somewhere and I don't know that this is right or not that um, you can just do some very passive charcoal filtration this way um, so that's what I'm going for I don't know how much of an effect it has um, but I do know that it keeps the gnats out and it makes me feel better about myself. So there's that. Um, so I'm just messing with it here, trying to figure out um, how much I need. In another uh, distillation I did, the uh, funnel I have seals up to the glass jar well enough that it, there was a vapor lock. As soon as I picked up the uh, funnel, everything flowed out. So. Um, so I figured out this problem. It wasn't the charcoal I was using, uh, per se. Um, so you gotta have all your stuff when you're ready. Once, it, once your spirit starts flowing out, it's just gonna keep rolling, you know? And I'll, I'll run mine down to about 20 or under percent alcohol. What's not methanol and what I don't keep for drinking um, I keep his feints, and when I get enough feints, I'll uh, have a feints run, and I'll do that again uh, to make a video of that. But that's essentially a triple distilled uh, spirit. So this is what I collected, um, and so now you know I'm going to blend it down, and I kind of sped this up a little bit. But blending is very personal. Uh, it was the scariest thing for me to do. Uh, honestly, it still is, just to get it right, um, to use your senses, uh, smell and taste. Uh, also, you'll notice I got my little notebook there, so I know what the alcohol content was of all this when it came out, and that kind of helps me to, to, you know, dilute it down so I can taste it and smell it right, and so I know what goes into my, my uh, what are we going to keep jar, and what are we not going to keep jar. So.
I'm just, uh, and that's what I'm doing here. So the next thing I'm going to do uh, once I get all this collected is uh, I'm going to put it in a barrel. So that's my next video. I'm going to have a barrel video and um, and show you what we do with that. Okay, it makes really good spirit. Peace out.